All right, guys, so I've got the emblems off. I went ahead and popped the mirror caps off too. Um, I'm gonna take a video tomorrow on the passenger side. That way you can see how to get those off. Um, the main thing is you wanna get this piece of glass off right here, and you definitely don't wanna break it. Um, it's not broken, it's just dust. Uh, and then these mirror caps actually screw in and there's one tab, whereas before, you know, you had all those clips that like to break. Um, just left all this stuff hanging. We're gonna leave that black. Um, he was okay with that. He didn't want to paint match everything. He just wanted to get rid of the chrome. Like I said, got rid of the handles. Um, I also went ahead and pulled the tail lights out, as well as the tailgate oblique. Um, I'll show you how I did that tomorrow as well. It got dark, so I didn't want to um, take a video, but to take it off, same as before, you've got to take the back panel off. But this truck had the workbench, so we went ahead and pulled the workbench off as well. Like I said, I'm gonna make a video tomorrow taking all of this off, getting all the tabs and stuff out, showing you where all they're at, um, and then we'll have that knocked out. I still have to take off all of the passenger side stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you how I did that as well tomorrow when it's not dark, but I've made some good progress in the last 45 minutes or so. Um, taking the applique off was definitely a chore. Uh, you don't want to break tabs. Uh, it's kind of inevitable, but you will. So you just take your time and keep from doing that. Um, so now that I've got all that off, um, I'll, I'll pull the side steps off tomorrow as well when I've got some daylight. I don't want to mess with that right now. So what I'm doing next is I'm going to get the front end off. Um, similar to the 15 to 20 trucks, um, actually the 18 to 20. So this little piece right here, um, that's gonna have to come off. You're gonna have your two bolts right there. If I recall correctly, they're seven millimeter, or actually no, those are um, Torx bits. So got those, I think they're T15s. And then we'll pull this piece off right here. There's two more on the other side, obviously. And then that's gonna expose the bolts for the bottom of the grill, as well as the headlights. And then, you also want to pull off, obviously, all of these tabs. You're going to have to take this off. Um, I'll show you what's underneath there. I'm going to pull these off real quick and then show you what's next. So I've got my Nico Pro panel clip remover tool. I've got six of these. Um, it's a complete kit. So it's really simple. Just pop that in there, lift it up, and just like that. Like I said, it's very similar. Pretty sure this piece is identical to the previous years. Um, so if you've taken one of those grills off, it's the same concept. I'm not gonna show you all of these. I think there's like 20 or so. So I pulled off the top piece. Just pop that in there, pull that there. So I'm gonna pause this, um, get that pulled off and show you what it looks like underneath. All right, so got the cover off. You can see, looks pretty identical to the way that the 18 to 20 setups were. Um, to get the top pieces off, you're gonna have five of these 10 millimeters, no, four. So you've got four 10 millimeters, one here, one here, one there, and one there. And went ahead and grabbed the trusty Milwaukee. It is seven millimeter works um, as well, but you can see that it does take a torque bit. So I'm just gonna stick with the seven millimeters is what I had. Boop that off. Boop that off. And more than likely a clip in here. Yeah, so there's a clip there. Same way though, just pull it, pop it. You can see that's gonna expose all of those panels for the headlights. So I'm gonna pause this, go knock out the other side, and I'll show you what's next. So I've got both sides unbolted. It looks like I'm gonna have to pull the headlights out. Um, I'm gonna unbolt the top just to be sure. Uh, I don't wanna pull too hard just yet. Um, it feels like it's pretty snug. If I have to give it you know, a hit with my purse, I might, but let's see if unbolting the headlights does the trick. You've got a little clip there, and then your two 10 millimeters, same as before on the 2018 to 20s. Yeah, so uh, actually, the headlight doesn't have to come out. Um, I meant to clean the truck before I started this, but 
I actually just had to hit it with my purse. This piece is tucked in there nice and deep. You can see right there how it's nice and crisp. Don't mind that, that's not from the light. It's just dust. So go ahead and just give it a tug and I'm gonna pull the rest of it off. It's just me, so I'm gonna set the phone down and get this off and show you what's next. Okay, okay, so I've got that little trim piece off. For the headlights, like I said, I've already pulled those out. Those are gone. You're gonna have one bolt right there. I think that's an eight millimeter. And then you're gonna have a few over here. I recall those are 12 millimeters. And then this little piece right here is a tab for the headlights to pop into. And that keeps all of this nice and secure. So I'm gonna pop this piece off And this piece off real quick and then I'll show you what's next okay so these are 10 millimeter you've got three of those so I'm gonna pull those out real quick and then this piece right here is still attached with that clip so we'll pop that off real quick so now we've got all of those out your seven millimeters here your 10 millimeter here here and here like I said you've got to pry that piece out so just stick that in there pop that down there and it's a little difficult like I said with two hands to do this so I'm gonna pause it real quick and pop that off but that's what you've got to do and so you can see it's not broken you want to make sure that that stuff's intact because this looks like a sensor uh, I'm gonna assume it's for the 360 camera so you also don't want to break that drop that or, or damage that and then now all of this is loose i'm not going to pop it out because i don't need to but it clears out and unbolts everything from the headlight so now that i've got that off there's still one more bolt in there and that's a 10 millimeter as well Got that. Didn't drop in the bumper. So now the headlight is completely loose. There's nothing holding it in except for the grill. There was an eight millimeter here and an eight millimeter here. We've got these 10 millimeters across the top. I'm gonna pop those off real quick. Okay, so all of those are off. Now, you wanna unplug all of these sensors for your active fan, your washer fluid, and all of that fun stuff. If you have uh, you know, an up trim level, fancy boy, non-peasant model truck. Um, got a couple clips here that I'm gonna pop out real quick. So, get that in there. Get that in there. So that frees that up and then it's kind of a pain to get to this one but it's doable and you've got a little clip right here as well for the fluid never seen one like this so um, I believe actually I'm gonna pause this so it is what I thought um, my purse wasn't big enough you just get a pair of pliers and squeeze this way and it frees it up to where this pops out. So all of that's disconnected from the shutter system. All of the bolts are undone all the way across. So now you should be able to just give it a nice pull there. It's free there. It's free there. Let's see, I picked up some. Whoop, picked up some there, so it's loose. Sorry for the wind noise, guys. I'm still doing this on my phone. Pick up there so it doesn't rust on the paint. And then you can see everything is clear across the way. 
Okay, so for the sake of finishing up this video, to get the emblem off, it's bolted in. So I'm not gonna do everything, but you've got an eight millimeter there, a 10 millimeter here, a 10 millimeter down there if you don't have the washer fluid. And you can see you've got your Torx bits there, there, and there to hold on the camera. And then you've got that little bolt right there. That's actually to hold the grill together. So I'm gonna pop the emblem off real quick to show you what it looks like. You don't have to pull the entire shutter assembly off to get the emblem off. You do have to pull it off to take the grill apart, which we will be doing. Uh, that way I can paint the, the grill as well. But for the sake of it, we're not going to for the video. Here is my grill that's already painted. And you can see the holes through there. And then here is the back of an emblem that doesn't have the cameras or any of that. You can see we dremel all that stuff out. And I'm going to show you how to take the emblems apart as well. So stay tuned for the next video. Um, and we've got some fucking freedom. Look at that. It's going to look hot on my single cab. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, all that I have left to do, don't mind the dirty garage, is pull these headlights out because we are going to be paint matching them in well and getting rid of the chrome. But you can see everything's already unbolted. Nothing's holding it in. There is, however, a little clip right here. Go ahead and pop this one out. You can hear it just pops out right there. Pulls out. Not having a tripod or a GoPro mounted to my head is making this a little difficult. But harness there. Pop that off, and you're good to go. Ever wonder what the inside of it looks like? Boom. So, you can see I've already got a bunch of stuff pulled off. Here are my headlights. So that's gonna kinda give you an idea of what these that I just pulled off are gonna look like as well. Um, stay tuned for the video on how to disassemble your side emblems, how to pull these off, how to disassemble that emblem, and how to disassemble the grill emblem. If you like this video, you found it helpful, like, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share it, send it to your mom, and uh, thank you. Um, still definitely new to the whole YouTube thing, so please, you know, forgive me. Still working on getting cameras and stuff ordered. Uh, the channel's definitely gonna get better, especially once I get my single cab back. But um, this kind of gives you an idea of the process of taking apart the front end to essentially get to the emblems because that's the only way you're going to get the grill emblem um, is to take the grill out. And unfortunately, you have to take all of the other stuff off to get to the grill. Um, it is a pain but it kind of gives you that motivation to also just go ahead and paint your grill to match because Chrome no longer gets her home. Y'all have a good one. Um, thanks again for watching. Uh, Mr. Boom out. And, uh, you know, boom.